you guys it's Lydia here so for today's video I'm going to be do a, doing a beginner kind of 20 minute long leg workout I'm really excited about this workout it's really great it's definitely beginner friendly and if you're in advanced you can always do some of my harder leg workouts which I will link at the end of the video in a playlist but without further ado let's dive in we're gonna start with a quick warm-up so we're gonna start one of my favorite leg warm-up moves is some side lunges with your hands on the ground. You take a wide stance and place your hands on the ground and then you're just going to bend one knee at a time, really feeling a good stretch in your inner thighs. We're going to do 20 on each side. Here we go. I meant 10 on each side, not 20. That would be a lot. <laughs> Next up, we're going to do a little circle like this with our leg. We're going to be doing 10 on each side, starting, we're just going to do alternating. Like open up those hips. your chest. We're just going to hold it here. A good stretch is a little bit of balance and coordination. I'm just going to hold it here for about 15 seconds and then we're going to go on to the other leg. Alright, switch sides. next one have your feet pointed out we're going to go into a nice deep squat and push your knees out with your elbows or you can do it with your hands and we're going to hold it here for 30 seconds so you feel a really good stretch in your inner thighs Then straighten out your legs, bring them a little bit closer together and go into a forward fold. Now hold this again for 30 seconds. Like I said before, I like move around, so I like to pedal my legs when doing this. We just got some chair squat taps. So one last kind of move to warm up your legs. So have your feet together, sit down into a squat. We're just gonna tap one side and the other side. We're gonna do 10 on each side. the warm-up. I 
if you enjoyed it. Now let's dive in to the workout. We have eight exercises that we're going to be doing twice. It's going to be fun. So let's dive in. All right, so we're going to start off with a squat with some back taps. What this looks like, you're going to squat down, tap back, tap back with your toe and stand. Now, depending on how hard you want it to be, you can go as low as you need to in that squat. So it can be kind of up here or it can be a little bit lower. Just go as low as you can. Really keep your tension on your legs. We're going to be doing it for 45 seconds on. And then we have a 15 second break before moving on to the next move. So here we go. Squat down, tap back, tap back, stand. Take your time with this. We have 45 seconds, so there's no need to rush anything. So you don't have to go super low. Just go as low as you can while really feeling the burn in your legs. And that's different for everyone. Relax, alrighty. Next up, we got a supported one leg deadlift. So you're basically going to have a supported leg. The other one, you're just gonna be on your toe. You're gonna lean over and stand up. Here we go. You're gonna lean over, bend this supporting leg and keep your back flat and then stand up. Really squeeze this glute and hamstring. So most of your weight is in the supported leg. The other leg is just there to kind of help you keep your balance. bent you don't want to lock out your knee keep your abs in tight that's very important your back flat here we go seconds you're just gonna lunge down for pulse for one two three and stand here we go like a basic lunge it makes it a little more fun a little bit harder here we go and as you stand really squeeze those muscles Burn. 
to head down to the ground for the last three moves. Alrighty, so for this one, come onto your back and we're going to do a glute bridge and then when you push up, open your knees, close them and bring them down. Here we go. Really squeeze your glutes the entire time. Squeeze your abs as well. You want to take this move nice and slow. Don't rush through it. And if you want to make it a little bit harder, try and barely tap your hips down and before bringing them back up. So the rest time is a lot shorter. There's more work on your glutes. So you're going to basically have your legs like this, when the bottom leg is straight, the top leg is bent over, you're going to do lifting your bottom leg. Here we go. This is a slightly weird move, it feels like you're not doing anything, but you are, you're really working that inner thigh. Lift it as high as you can, start to feel it right away. as you can and really squeeze those inner thigh muscles. Alrighty, relax. That was killer. Let's go on to the other side. This is our last exercise, everyone. Just breathe. Alrighty, here we go. this. Alrighty, so we're going to start from the top. First of all, we got the squat back taps. Here we go. Squat down. You know these moves by now. So this is our second round. You can do them. You don't have to necessarily focus on how to do the move, more just focusing on squeezing your muscles and we're doing it as best as you can. you tap down really squeeze your muscles a little bit more so squat down tap squeeze tap squeeze and stand we're nearly there alrighty last lastly wow we're not there yet we got the one-legged supported deadlift And these moves are really simple. Here we go. These moves are really simple, but they still really work your muscles and they get your heart rate up, surprisingly. You don't expect just a basic strength workout to do that, but it does. Really push your heel towards the ground. And that's gonna activate your glute muscles. Because if you don't activate your glutes, you might be using your low back, not using correct form, really squeeze those abs make sure you have a flat back take this nice and slow I'm kind of going a little too fast <laughs> you want to go really slowly all right relax 
trying to switch legs. Shake out your legs if you need to. But here we go. your back leg and it's going to add a little more of a balance challenge. If you want to, if you don't want to, you need to stick to the basic. I like the basic one because it really helps you focus on your glutes and less about the balance. Because balance can sometimes, it's good to work your balance, but it's kind of hard when you're trying to just work your glute. Alrighty, relax. I gotta check that fast. So if you're doing this workout more than once, listen to me, take it slowly. I always rush through things, I shouldn't do that. Alrighty, next we got the three pulse lunge. We're going right into it, here we go. lunge, seven pulse lunge, it's really gonna amp up the intensity, already relax. So you know, this is getting easy. Bring up the reps, really squeeze your muscles and um, stay down in that lunge for longer. Here we go, other leg. So like you would switch it, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and stand and that's a lot longer time in that lunge but like for beginners three pulsing is really good because it's just enough time under that pressure to get your muscles burning it's not too long but as you keep doing this workout and getting stronger you gotta level up to the ground. We're nearly at the end of this, guys. Alrighty, so come down to the ground and take a quick stretch if you need to. But let's go in to those glute bridges. Here we go. Push up, open your knees, close them, and lower down. Opening your knees just gets a little bit more of the muscles in your glutes. Also makes you hold it up there a little bit longer. And when you're holding it up there, really squeeze those glutes as high as you can to the air. Really squeeze those abs as well. And if you want to make it harder, remember, barely tap your hips down before coming back up. So the tension is constantly on your glutes. Alrighty, relax. Flip over to your side. We got the last two moves, or one move. We're gonna do it on both legs. The inner thigh leg lifts. These ones really do burn out after like just a few seconds of doing them. Here we go. Really squeeze your inner thigh and try not to like launch your leg. It should be nice and controlled. And for moves like this, a great way to level it up is to just add an ankle weight or something like that. Add a little bit of weight onto your leg. It'll really make it harder. Alrighty, relax. 
got our last 45 seconds of work. You got this. Once we're done here, we get to stretch. And stretching is the best part of any workout. Alrighty, here we go. Lift your leg up and down. We're talking about stretching. It is very, very important to stretch, which we will be doing in a second, because um, you're working your muscles really hard and you're really breaking them down and you need that recovery time to stretch them out because they're all tight. You want to stretch them out and that will help prevent injury. It also helps prevent soreness. I've noticed a big difference from not stretching after a workout to when I stretch. I really notice a big difference in how sore I am. Very important to stretch. You'll be doing in five seconds. Keep pulsing and relax. Congratulations, guys. You made it to the stretching portion of this workout. You might notice by now how excited I am about this portion. Alrighty, so we're gonna start with a pigeon pose. For this, you're going to bring your front leg parallel to you. So if that's a little bit much, Pull your foot in a little bit closer towards this back leg or have it farther out and you want to really sit equally on this back leg and the front leg. So for beginners, just stand up tall like this. If you're a little more flexible, reach forward and we're going to hold it here just for a few seconds. Really stretch out those muscles. fall to the side and sit on that hip. You really want to sit on top of both legs. Alrighty, we're going to quickly switch sides. Remember, have your foot as close to you as you need it to be and have equal weight in both legs. And you don't have to lean forward if you don't want to. If you're up here and holding the stretch, that's okay. And if you're done with this little stretching portion and you feel like you need a bit more, I always link my stretching routine playlist at the end of all my workouts. So you can pick a stretching routine in there. I have a lot of beginner stretches, which are great. They're nice and easy and gentle, but they still stretch out your body and they just feel so, so nice. Alrighty, come out of that. So next, we're gonna go into a lunge. This one that stretches out your hip flexors. So it's the muscles in the front of your hips right here. So either you can have a hand on the ground to support you or lift both hands onto your front knee. But the goal is just to really push this back hip or this back um, thigh towards the ground or forward. Really feel a good stretch in your thigh and in your hip flexor. is one of my favorite stretches. Alrighty. And then you're gonna push over your back leg and straighten up the front one. And then you're gonna reach forward and you're gonna feel a really good stretch in your hamstring. And for this, you want to keep a flat back. So try to pull your chest to your leg, not arching your back and trying to pull your head. And we're just gonna hold it here. If you want to, you can flex your foot like I'm doing, or you don't have to do that. Whatever level you're at, the more your foot is flexed, the deeper the stretch is gonna be. situated and here we go start by holding either a high lunge or you can put your hand on the ground <laughs> now, push yourself to your limit make sure that it's a good stretch it's slightly outside of your comfort zone but it's not painful it's not 
super uncomfortable, you can be, you're, you can breathe through it. That's the goal. So just take nice deep breaths and really sink into it. it. Should never be too hard that you can't breathe through it. Push back over your leg for our final stretch, the hamstring one. One leg might be a little more or less flexible. So just go with it. <laughs> just remember to push gently. today's workout everybody I hope you enjoyed it and if you're a beginner and you really felt like this was a really nice workout for you don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you want some more beginner friendly workouts you can check out on my channel um, I have a whole beginners playlist beginner abs legs upper body that I think you will really enjoy so you can go check that out if you want some more beginner friendly workouts and I will see you next time for another awesome workout. I do beginner, I do advanced, I do cardio, I do abs, I do all sorts of things and they're all different lengths. So whatever time limit you have, you can do some of my workouts. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.